Mike Schmaltz here with Xavier, head women's soccer coach, Nate Lee. Musketeers get a big fight tonight from the Northern Kentucky University Norse Elite Surge. Gives your team a 4-0 win over the Northern Kentucky Norse here at the home pitch. First time in the last seven, eight games you were at home, so nice to get one at home, but a tough fight from the Norse, particularly in the first half. You had 10 shots in that first half. They didn't have any. You had seven corners, just unable to convert. They were pretty stout defensively. Yeah, I mean, Northern Kentucky's good. And honestly, honestly, the scoreline probably isn't fair to them. You know, we scored three in the last 10 minutes, and um, when it rained, it poured, and it felt like, you know, our last couple shots, when they, we, we shot them, they're good shots, they went in. And so um, it was a closer game than the scoreline. Um, yeah, the first half, I think we outshot them 10 nothing or something like that. Uh, I think it was partly we weren't um, clinical enough and um, aggressive enough in the final box. We didn't shoot with conviction. And I think partly it was Northern Kentucky very strong defending, um, desperate defending in a good way, right, to try to protect their, their box. Um, I think in halftime we maybe reset our mentality, but I also think it's partly it, we just wear teams down and those seams become a little bit bigger, those clearances go a little less far, there's more deflections, um, they'll make more mistakes. And I don't think it's um, a coincidence. I think our goals for against, versus against in the second half this season are 11 to one in the second half, um, and that's part of our identity. So uh, I'm glad that we got to see the ball hit the back of the net. We needed that. Um, we needed a game to feel, to feel good about, to feel excited about. Talk about the burst of energy you started the second half with. Samantha Dewey was able to dig one out of traffic, kind of got you going in the 47th minute. Yeah, it was an, it was an awkward play. Um, so it was off a set piece, and a ball got cleared, and I think it was Grace Brower, um, G, kind of textured in a ball. And the way NKU defended it, they kept both players on the posts. So Sam, who I think a lot of people in the stadium figured would be off sides, was on sides by a bunch because um, the, the, the player stayed, and then she was able to, to kind of like toe poke it in. or um, it, was, it, was, it was honestly a sort of an ugly goal. That was number six for her, and you talk about Grace Bart texturing a goal. She had a great game, particularly in the first half, carrying balls out of the back, hit a really nice long strike that bended in far post. Yeah, I, I mean, Grace Barr is, is, is a weapon um, coming out of the back. She, she feels very comfortable on the dribble. She was a former midfielder. Um, and it hasn't quite clicked in the in the first half. She got a bunch of opportunities and sending some dangerous balls um, off a corner again, I think. Uh, we, we played to her, and she laced a ball. Um, it was a pill, as they say, and it was knuckling all over the place. And it, I mean, it was one of the better strikes you'll see. It was, and then Sam Dewey follows it up. That was a first in three minutes and 30 seconds as you really finished strong in this game. Sam guided one in near side a couple minutes later. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm hoping that we kind of get that killer mentality. And Sam got isolated out wide, and we all know Sam's a good player. And uh, I think I was yelling from the sideline, you know, um, be a killer, be a killer, like, uh, you know, just, just, I know a third would be a big one, and she took the player on, and she, she smacked it near post. It was, a very, it was very well taken. Kept the pressure on, and then Jackie Richards able to deliver number four for you. Jackie's a talented player who is still f figuring out the college game and still working on her confidence and is way too hard on herself. Um, the, the kid scored three goals already uh, and, and had a couple other opportunities, and, and she's, she still overthinks the game. But when she... Um, when she lets the game come to her and she just uses her natural ability, she's going to be a good player. So that burst paid off for you as well because you're able to get some of your bench players in to finish and get some quality minutes near the end of this match. That was great. I, I'm, I'm so excited about it. Um, I think we used 26 tonight, mm -hmm. if I counted correctly, and players like Megan Sullivan, who's a huge leader, a huge leader for us um, behind the scenes, was able to get on the field. And even though it was only, what, seven, eight minutes, she had the biggest smile. Um, we were able to get Carol in goal. She had to miss her exhibition this year. Um, and in what I, what I really liked was those players seemed very appreciative of the minutes um, and very excited about them and energized. And, and then um, our bench and the rest of our team was super supportive. It was, it was, it was a fun you know, last 20 minutes or so. Let's talk about the lift you get from this game. You said you needed one like this and a couple of tough matches coming up, at least regional rivals with Cincinnati, of course, next and then Miami after that. Yeah, I mean, this was our third home game of the season um, and it's our last one in non-conference. So we have, including our exhibition, eight away, three home. And so I'm glad we took advantage of our last one. Um, like I said, it, I had an interview midweek. I, I just don't think we've, we've put anywhere near our best game forward. I mean, not even close. And so that's what I challenged our team with today was anyone who's in the stadium today, including the opposition, that we need to make a statement of what Xavier soccer is about and um, have those people leave being like, that's a pretty solid team and, and this is what they're good at and this is their identity. And um, we still have a ton to improve upon and it, it was not nearly perfect, but I think we took a step in the right direction.
Musketeers finish off a hard-fought victory 4-0 over Northern Kentucky. They moved to 5-1-1 on the season with Cincinnati up next.